Good morning, I'm gonna show you how you can create a single page WooCommerce um, website looking a bit like this one. This this is great where you wanna create a landing page with WooCommerce um, and you really wanna highlight that one particular product. You might only have one product or you might be running a campaign. So this is what I'm gonna show you how I build, how to build. Uh, it features these lovely um, images at the top here with these this parallax effect as I scroll down and then you can have this uh, nice cool gallery and then at the bottom here we just have our normal add to basket section so it's basically a WooCommerce product on steroids uh, so I'm going to show you how how I built this it's using um, the Gutenberg block editor and our Woo Builder blocks plugin that we've built um, over at Puka Press so sit back enjoy and I hope you find it useful okay here we go so I'm going to basically recreate this um, this really cool looking landing page from scratch and I've just created a duplicate of my uh, product so this is the default layout of a normal WooCommerce product but I want to turn this into something far more spectacular uh, to the single page uh, WooCommerce product layout that I've got here so the first thing we need to do is go to edit product and we're going to as I said before we're going to be using the uh, Woo Builder blocks plugin to construct this and Woo Builder blocks which is a plugin we've built at Poodle Press lets you basically build the products using the Gutenberg block editor, so the normal um, block editor. So I'm just going to enable Woo Builder blocks. When you install the plugin, uh, you'll see this new button over on the right. So I'm just going to enable it. And I'm going to start from scratch. You can create templates, but I'm going to start from scratch just to show you the entire process. And that will basically load this page now into um, a Gutenberg page, which is cool because now we can start to build up our page. Uh, so if I just flick back here, so this page is fairly straightforward in terms of how this is being built. This is just using some of the core Gutenberg block editor blocks to start with. Uh, so the first block we've got here is the cover block. So I'm gonna click on the blue plus sign and search for cover. And I'm just gonna add that cover block in. And this one needs, um, we're going to basically recreate this. So this needs an image behind it. So I'm going to choose a photo from my uh, media library. So I've already got some photos up here. You could upload your own if you wanted to. And I'm just going to choose um, one of these photos today uh, just for speed. I think that's the one actually. So let's choose that. And that'll put that as a background behind that image you see here. And then we just need some text. So I'm just going to copy this text here just for speed today. Uh, that's my headline here. Now I've also got this subtitle here and to do that uh, within the cover block uh, the easiest way is just to hit return and paste and then you can align this here. Uh, another tip when you're working in the block editor, especially for me, I prefer to work with the toolbar at the top here. That's this toolbar here. If you, if you select top toolbar it just pops it up here out of the way. I find that's a cleaner way to actually uh, work with it. So this text is a little bit bigger so I'm just going to change the default size to match that roughly. Okay, I think that's probably what we want. Uh, we've also got this line here. So again, the easiest way is just put your cursor at the end there, hit return, and then paste or type in. And then finally, we've got on this cover block, we have this buy now button, which actually scrolls down to the add to cart. And I'll show you how to do that later. So when I click on that, you can see how it scrolls down to the add to basket section down here. Um, but for now, I'm just going to add a button in. So I'm going to Put my cursor at the end here hit return and i'm going to in this instance i'm going to search for the button block using the forward slash so you just type forward slash and then buttons and that'll find the buttons block here that's the one you want the one that says buttons okay and that's going to add that block in uh, and then all we're going to do is call it by now so we're going to center this block now so we just need to make sure we've selected the entire buttons block because then we'll see the option to change the alignment um, if you're ever confused about because um, that, then these three lines will show you the hierarchy. Just make sure you select the top level buttons rather than the individual button itself. If you select the individual button, you won't see the option to change the alignment. You see there's no option to change the alignment here. You have to set, select the top level buttons block and then you see this alignment option here. Okay. Um, the other thing that I think I did, I um, set the the type to be an outline so with this style you can set the outline and I'm going to set the color settings to be white now it'll, it'll actually end up looking just like that once we published it the preview is not quite right okay so that's the first block then the second block is pretty much the same but uh, for speed I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the cover block and again just make sure you select the whole thing also oh, one more thing I need to do here is this nice parallax so as I scroll can you see how the image is frozen behind so to do that 
just make sure you selected the cover block here. And then over on the right here, just make sure you selected fixed background. And that means as you scroll or the user scroll, can you see that image now has that nice parallax effect behind it? Very simple. Okay, so what we've got underneath here is basically two more cover blocks. So for speed today, and the way I generally work is I'm gonna duplicate this. So I make sure I selected the cover block, click on these three little dots here, and then you'll see this duplicate option. Okay, and I'm actually gonna duplicate it three times. Okay, now you can get this really cool effect. If you, if you duplicate the same block three times, can you see how the image behind basically looks like you're um, revealing the image? Um, and if you put like a, let me just show you this. Uh, if you put like an overlay on this, can you see how you get that really cool effect? So you might wanna think about doing that. Uh, but for today, I'm actually gonna choose a different image and I've got different text. So this text here, Get the idea and obviously you can check change this text to fit i won't i won't go on too much i'm just going to remove that by now button there because i don't want that down there um so there's that block there and actually i want to change the background image on that one so again i'm just making sure i select the cover block by using these three lines here so make sure you selected cover and now um up here i can actually replace that image so i want to choose a different image although i quite like that effect so let's choose this one for now Okay, that's my different image. And again, you could play around with the overlays over here on the right. I'm just gonna clear this one for now. And again, this one here, you could replace the image. Again, just make sure you select the actual block itself. Replace the image, open media library. And the other thing to say as well, you, you can have videos behind these as well. So if you do have videos and you want to use those, uh, they work really, really well with video. So that's my third image. And again, you could, um, nip in here and just change this text to whatever you like. And again, I'm just gonna remove this buy now button by clicking on these three dots after I've selected the block. Um, and there we go. So that's that's the first bit done really. I have now created these three nice um, blocks. You can obviously take more time over these. If you want to change the size of these, you can just do all sorts of weird really stuff like that. But I'm pretty content with that. Right, under here, we've actually just got a gallery. And that again is just using the gallery block that comes with the with WordPress now. And I just chose some images. So I'm just gonna add that in. And I think I just chose a few of these images. So you can multi-select it, these images, when you're creating your galleries. And I can insert it here. And that's gonna create me a nice gallery. I'm actually gonna remove that one because I only want six images. I think that's what we've got, yep. And then under that, we've just got you probably guessed it, we've got a paragraph um, block, and I'm just gonna center that like so, and then over on the right here, I change that to orange. That's what we've got there. Then we've just got, again, we've got um, some description. And again, in this case, I'm just gonna add the description like this. And now finally at the bottom here, I'm gonna add two Woo Builder blocks that we've um, created so Woo Builder, basically, we've created a whole bunch of blocks that you can use to recreate your the normal product page. Now today, I'm only using two blocks, the price and the add to basket, but there's a whole bunch of other ones that you can use, things like your product image, uh, your galleries, short descriptions, um, stock, all sorts of stuff. But all I'm gonna add in here is the price. So let me show you, actually, if I just come down here and go to any second here you'll see these are all the woo builder blocks that we've built so um product rating product title add to cart sale countdown stock countdown cover block price tabs related products upsell products short description meta product reviews product images product carousel and um, uh, request for quote so you'll see there's some additional blocks in there that we've built as well um all i need today though for this um tutorial are two which is the price which is that one there so I'm gonna add the price in, and that's gonna load the price of the product. And over on the right here, you can customize uh, things like the font and the font color, and the size of that block as well. And you'll see that will come in in a second here. And then finally, all I've got under there is the add to um, basket block. So I'm just gonna add that one using this method. And that will show the add to cart block. Okay, and again, there we go. Now, obviously, I've, I've gone very, very quickly today. You could take far more time over your product page. 
Um, but hopefully you can see that that's, that's looking much more exciting uh, than the traditional WooCommerce product. Okay, one more thing to do. So I'm viewing the product now. And can you see how my cover blocks are? I don't have any margin in between, between these, which I would probably quite like actually. So what I'm gonna to do to fix that, um, I'm gonna go back into edit product. And this is one of the most useful blocks that you can use in the block editor and it's called the spacer block. So to add it between, you just hover between the block like I'm doing here, click add block and I'm gonna search for spacer. And that just basically the spacer block just lets you add vertical space between your blocks and you can obviously um, drag it here to choose the pixel height or over on the right here if you want to be more consistent you can just punch in the details over here so I'm just adding a spacer block of 30 pixels high and I just want to add one under here as well same again I'll add the spacer block and again I'll make that 30 pixels high uh, there we there we go probably easier if I punch it in and there we go so I'm happy with that now so let's update that and go and view it fab so there's my finished product page and obviously you could set that as the front page of your website if you only had a single page website and you were just selling one product uh, it would work great like that or you could um, you know if you were doing a this is a landing page that has its own URL up here so you could email that out to your mailing list and if you were just run, running a specific campaign just for that product then you could do it that way as well so there you go I hope you found that um, really useful that's using uh, the Woo Builder Blocks plugin from um, us at Poodle Press and then just the Gutenberg block editor so if you have any comments please leave them below thank you very much